B complex or yeast, which is better for you? Well, I firmly believe that a B complex is better for you than nutritional yeast. Let me tell you why. Well, there are many reasons, but I would say that the main one is that in yeast, there are things that you don't want to be consuming. Specifically, I'm talking about mold and mycotoxins. They are not a big deal for many of us, but you might be allergic to them and not even know it. In that case, eating yeast on a regular basis would be horrible for your health. But even if you tolerate mold well, I still believe that a B complex, a synthetic one, is better for you. Why is it? Well, because it A has more B vitamins and B, you know exactly what B vitamins you are getting. With nutrition yeast, it almost always is fortified with B vitamins but they just don't tell you how much of each vitamin there is. So I don't think that you can rely on nutritional yeast for B vitamins. What I like about a synthetic B complex is that it almost always contains more B vitamins than nutritional yeast. And with some B vitamins, it doesn't really matter as long as you get the RDA or the recommended amount. But with some B vitamins, the more you eat, the more benefits of these vitamins you will reap. Riboflavin is a great example of that. Megadoses of riboflavin have been shown to be very effective for treating migraines. Niacin is another great example. People actually take megadoses of niacin for longevity. Nutritional yeast will generally make you avoid deficiency in niacin or riboflavin, but it will not make you get the optimal amount for your health. I am not saying you need to take megadoses, I am just saying it is more beneficial and doesn't seem to have side effects. That does not apply to vitamin B12. And vitamin B12, if you take a megadose of it every day, seems to increase your chance of stroke. But when it comes to B12, a B complex, a synthetic one, is still a winner. Because unfortunately, yeast almost never has B12 in it. It doesn't have B12 naturally, and they don't even add synthetic B12 into it. Whereas in B complex supplements, you generally have a reasonable amount of vitamin B12. There are more things that I don't like about yeast. But I hope that this already convinced you to instead go for a synthetic B supplement. Preferably, you want to go for a methylated one, with methylcobalamin and methylfolate especially. Other than that, with riboflavin, with thiamine, with niacin, with biotin, the form doesn't matter that much. And I can link to a very good B complex I found if you are interested. I will try to find it and put it in the description. And if I forget about it, you can ask me in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I love you.